visits the plight of thousands of Rohingya, fearful of remaining in Myanmar, yet not allowed into Bangladesh. They're stranded in no man's land. Muhammad Faisal has been here since last Saturday, a day after fighting broke out between rebel Rohingya fighters and the Myanmar military. The Rakhine beat us. If we go back to Myanmar, they will kill us and slice us into pieces. That's why we are here. Myanmar security forces are retaliating against attacks launched by a rebel Rohingya group that calls itself the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army. Rohingya villagers say they're being targeted. Those who've made it to Bangladesh bring with them stories of abuse. In my village, people were killed, houses were set on fire, and one of my relatives died. My own house was touched. I walked for three days before I made it here. But Bangladesh is feeling the strain from taking in so many refugees and is reluctant to take in more. Its border is officially closed. The Myanmar government's actions are forcing their people to come to our country. Then this becomes our problem. Our population increases, but our space is limited. The international community needs to act. The UN and other countries have called on the Myanmar government to exercise restraint when carrying out its military operations. The government has so far denied allegations of abuse, saying its security forces are cracking down on what it considers a terrorist organization. Thousands of Rakhine Buddhists too have been caught up in the fighting and are sheltering in Sitwe, the state capital. It's the worst violence in northwest Myanmar in at least five years but it's mostly the Rohingya who are bearing the brunt of it. With no solution in sight, many prefer to take their chances on a dangerous journey than remain in Myanmar, a journey not everyone survives.